muzzle loader supply manual. Um, is this the muzzle loader shop? Yes, it is. Hi, I was wondering if you had time to answer a couple questions for me. Sure, what can I do for you? Um, so you know how, like, Class B felons can still hunt with, uh, muzzle loader? Uh -huh. Um, is there a difference between the muzzle loading and the black powder? No, with that's just, uh, a form of the powder used in a muzzle loader. Either right. black powder or a synthetic powder. So, legally, as a felon, I could buy either one of those? And hunt uh, with them? Uh, probably the synthetic powder, just to be safe. Yeah, because there's, like, there's still a little tiny difference with it. Like, the ATF kind of right. tries... Right. One is... Black powder is classified as an explosive, uh, and uh, the synthetic is classified as a flammable. Right. So even, even though they're both black powder. Or any of those. What was that? Pyrodex or triple seven or any of the synthetic powders would work. Okay, that's awesome. Because when I called when I called Welchers and talked to John, he just didn't have time to answer the questions because he's got too many other important customers other than me. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, oh no, that's more than fine. I mean, I could gladly take my business somewhere else. Yeah. Um. Do you guys sell muzzle loaders? Yes, we do. Okay, so do you know what I go about doing to get into buying a muzzle loader for legal muzzle loading hunting? First of all, I, I think it is perfectly legal, but you might get the occasional game warden out there that would argue with you. Um, hang on, let me double check with the powers that be, just a second. Thank you very much, ma'am. No, class B. Okay. Uh, Bill said yes, you can purchase them, but if you do something wrong, get in trouble, they treat them like a firearm. Right. And I'm not class C, I'm class B. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's the same thing. Well, Class C, you're not able to get firearms back at all. Class B, I could still get my modern rifles back. And my felony was 13 years ago, and it really was a miscommunication. And I kind of have proof of that because I've been falsely arrested more than five times. Oh, my gosh. Right. I called for an ambulance once and got arrested. I got beat, oh. I got beat by the cops bad, and I was just calling for an ambulance. Oh, my gosh. Right, so do you, okay, so it, I know I go about going to get a petition for that, and it's like a $240 fine. Do you know any well, information on how to, like, it as would... As far as purchasing a muzzleloader, there is no, no background check or anything. Right, and I, I know that, just like with the bows, but like for like my, to get my modern rifles back. Do you know anything about that? Because I know that it's a petition and then two hundred and forty dollar fine. Yeah. Um, um like I'm not asking no, for like any sneaky tricks or anything like that, but no, it's no, like no. you know I understand that. I'm um, I I don't know specifically of what to do, but I would think that if you were to call the state patrol or the sheriff's department or even um where they issue the concealed weapons permits, um, any of those would, I think, be able to tell you how to go about it. Okay, cool. I would certainly tell you if I knew, but I, I honestly don't. All right. And so, like, you you said you do sell muzzle loaders, right? Right. Um, do you know, are you, are you able to tell prices over the phone? Because some places cannot. Sure. Um, sure. Um, Anything from two fifty up? That's not that's not bad. Um, but even if okay, it has to be a muzzle loader rifle, correct? Um, I believe so. It right. Has to load down the barrel. Right, but it can it be a pistol that does that though too? Um. Like I don't think that's legal. I don't think so either. Okay. Um, is that two fifty one pretty decent? Yeah, we've got is it a lot of different brand new, or has it been shot? Or 
Okay. Do you know if it's brand new or if it's been shot? I think we've got both. You, you have both? But what about that 251? Yeah. Um, I, I believe it's a new one. Unless prices have increased. I haven't been here for three okay. months. This is my first day back here. So, oh, and... Uh, unless the prices have significantly increased, increased I would say... 250, 300, you could get an, a new one. Oh, okay, that's awesome. And you guys are just down there on River Road? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And I, I appreciate um, all your help and every, and being patient and everything like that, because I was told uh, a lot of people want to talk to me. Oh, that's no problem at all. You um, know what I mean? Come in and take a look at what we've got. Um, you know, if it takes you a couple times of looking and shopping around, yeah. Like you're obligated to buy something just because you came through the door. Oh, no, I think I'm not feeling obligated. I think you've kind of sold me on getting a muzzle loader from there, whether I get my rights back or not, because I've done that. Bef <laughs> I've already done that before when I was, when I did have my modern rifles. But yeah. sometimes people sell them for like, you know, 2000 bucks. So that's like, that's quite oh, a bit no. of money. Oh, that, that's way out of line. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's awesome. Yeah. That is totally I cool. I have a foster son who um, did, went through the process of getting his rights back like yours. But right. I think he went through an attorney. Right. That's so, that's that's what the thing kind of suggests to do. Yeah. 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 Well, we're here Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 until 5. So oh. come on in and look around. Okay. Uh, I usually get paid on the 1st, so i probably see you on, on the 1st of March. Okay, we'll be here. That's awesome. Alrighty. Alright, I'll see you guys later. You have a good weekend. You too.